Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next Fictional City with me, Biffa. And here we are in the city of Farrah, sent in by, and I believe this is the correct Thai pronunciation of your name, by Fring. So thank you very much for using the form that is linked in the description below and sending your city in. If you wish me to take a look at yours, then you can do the same. As long as it's got something to fix, then I'm happy to take a look. Don't send me a city that's perfectly fine because <laughs> I won't be looking at it. Okay, so we have a city here. Uh, Farrah City, a population of 80,000. Over 80,000. It's making money. But it has a lot of problems, of course, one of which is the traffic in the city. It is dropping as we speak. We're down to 62% at the moment. And as we look around the city, I mean, we can see it's backing up on the highway really bad. And you're probably spotting some of the reasons why. Some of you seasoned viewers of mine, you can spot a problem a mile away, can't you? Well, we're going to fix up all these different things. But the first thing I'd like to do is to take an overview of the city, like so. There we go. And then we're going to have a look at the traffic, like this. And we are going to run this for a while and see how bad it gets. So let's see what happens. Oh, and of course, a quick reminder, we are using Traffic Manager. And what I do is I run it in no despawning mode, which makes things harder. We get bigger traffic jams. This is not how the game normally runs. This is using a mod to make things even worse. So we can put our traffic fixing skills to the test. Right, so let's leave no despawning turned on and let's see what happens. Uh, just a quick pop back in. We're at 36% and dropping. I'm just a little bit worried about how bad this is going to get. But let's keep on going. Okay, so we got down to, if you saw in the time lapse, 16%. And now, of course, we've lost 10,000 population and everything's going nuts and it's creeping back up again just because there's less people in the city but let's just take a look at what's going on down here so our cargo area is completely backed up which is probably to be expected to be honest our highway is completely backed up and there's not many off ramps on this highway if we come along here this whole section so they're crossing over everybody up here by the look of it is only able to get on the highway here so that's one telling Thing. Uh, and the same for this side by the look of it unless I'm missing anything everybody so all of these people here all getting through the highway there what about these guys so they're all using this main road which you can see to get up here they do have access to the highway over here in this junction but nobody's using it because they probably all want to go this way over to the cargo airport I bet uh, cargo harbour thingamabob so yeah there we go so that's how bad it's got what is this roundabout here so you've got this road going through and a roundabout okay yeah we're gonna look at that <laughs> so lots of things to work on so where shall we start okay so we're gonna start by looking at the main roads the highway the roundabouts and all that sort of thing before we start looking in at little uh looking at all the little details so just along here we need a bit of lane mathematics i'm sure you're all familiar with that uh, without it we get double lane uses so straight usage straight on and right so we're going to go three lanes one goes off down to two there we go so that will give you a dedicated turning lane and then where it comes back on again we are going to add you go there so everybody gets a lane each um and yeah that's fine and then going the other way we're going to do the same you've actually got two lanes coming off and going all the way around there that doesn't need to be that many lanes so we're going to put that down to one uh, all the way around here to join um and also this one here only needs to be one and that one there only needs to be one which it is already this one can be two because then you get a, a split for each direction and there we go this one's one this one's one so they get a lane each and then here i'm assuming you're not going to want them turning back rounds coming up there again so we'll turn that off and we'll have one straight on and one whoops one right and that should solve that oh dear this bit here yeah we'll think about that <laughs> in a minute we'll come back to that like i said we'll do the basic stuff first 
So again, the three lanes, one comes off down to two. Now we've got a dedicated turning lane. So we'll just do that. And then what I was going to say is where they join, then we'll do the same Hugo there thing. But you've got this all set up. Yeah, we're going to come back to that that thing there because that is all badly set up. We'll definitely come back to that. Uh, that needs emptying. There we go. And then as we come along here, again, some simple lane mathematics here. Three, one goes off, down to two, one comes on, back to three. So basically, we can just change all of those to two, like a so. And then where they come on, we can do you go there, you go there, you go there. Now we don't need that one there because we've got the dedicated lanes. You go there. And then the same in the other direction as well. And that just helps this sort of basic cloverleaf interchange to work much better. That's where you come on there. That's where you come on there. That's where you come on. Here you go there. And... Where's the other one? Which way are they going? <laughs> I've confused myself. One there. One there. One there. That's where they go off. That's where they go off. Yeah, I'm missing something here. But Oh, uh, that one there. That's it where they come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll get them in the end. So that's going to help with that. And then as we go along, it goes underground, which is fine. It comes back up again over here. That's joining. That's gone off. So, yeah, there we go. Look, a little bit of lane mass is going to help this section here. And then again, a bit of Hugo there is going to help that joining there. And this come in. We've got one off and one on again. So another perfect opportunity to do the same thing. And Hugo there, over there. Excellent. Um, just looking at this big one. That one's going off. You have actually gone down to two. Yeah, and then you've gone up to three because you've got a lane going off there. That's fine. Um, three, and then you've said no lane changing all the way through there. I don't think you necessarily need that. This road here does not... When you've got these little slip lanes, they don't need to be more than one lane. They really don't. So that's going to be one lane. Which means that can be one lane all the way around. I know you've used the highway road, but it just needs to be one lane. So, um, well, whoa, jumpy. Well done for building your own junctions. Didn't mean to do that one there, which is why some of these are a little bit winky wonky. But, you know, you've built your own junction, so we can't complain at that. Now you've got dedicated lanes going that way. And that coming in is... Let's just do this. We're going to grab that node there and say, just keep going straight through. And then we're going to do that. So they go to there. They go to there. And they just all keep moving. You have a lane each. And that should all work a lot better. This bit here. Yeah, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to change this. So you've done three lanes. So one of them goes off. But you've certainly got two going on. So we're going to go down to two for along here. And then that's going to help when this one comes on. So now we're back to three. Excellent. Uh, that you don't need because you've got a dedicated turning lane now. So that works much better. So that junction is going to work a lot better. And then let's just go back along the other way. Again, you've done the same thing. Where well, this is two lanes coming on. So that breaks the lane mathematics. Three plus two is five. I mean, there is five lane highways in here. But it is just too much you don't need it i mean i'm not even sure you really need this road here but we'll leave it in we'll leave it in so control left click dedicated turning lanes now are going to be coming along there let us maybe just make this a little bit easier to turn we go like that oh my goodness me forget it forget it have the right angle turns <laughs> i'm not going to mess with all of that um so that was yeah so that's two plus one is three and then we've got another one here so just for another way of making the lane maths work we can get four lane and then we can do because the choke point is always when the cars come on because what they try and do is curl across the lanes and stop the flow of your main highway so if we do that they all get a lane each then they can merge here and that will work much much better um we don't want all of these going along there that's, yeah, we've done that one. That's coming in. It goes underneath back round to where we were before. And that's all done. So that's good. That is definitely going to help. So let's just get that running. And hopefully, ever so slowly, things will get moving. But obviously, we've got a lot of blockages in other places. Like this here doesn't need to be a blockage. So we can just say here, go straight through, go straight through. The, 
The reason that becomes an issue, I mean, they will always sort of pause at a node like this, is because this little stub here is so short that they, they just sort of get a bit confused. And then we'll do that. So they definitely just go in the right place. Um, actually, you know what I'm also going to do is I just want to make this a little bit tidier. There we go. Uh, let's just check your roundabout. Control, Shift, left click there we go we got all the giveaway signs and stuff i also want to check this one you've got this thing where you've got these underground roads and things like where is this coming from so you've put this under here probably to stop these people going through the highway and causing all sorts of problems but all it does is cause another problem down here and it's not really being used so i'm going to take that out and if we come back so looking at adding anything else, any other connections anywhere, we'll... Okay, just let me do the road. There we go. So that's much better. And then we've got a proper decent roundabout. Control shift, left click. I mean, it's got so many lanes, this roundabout. <laughs> it's nuts. It is absolutely nuts. But now you've got dedicated lanes for going off. If you want to have all those other lanes as well, that's fine. This, control shift, left click. Let's set that up properly because it's just getting all blocked. And this one here, control shift left click. And this one here, and this one here, and that one there, and that one there. You need to give way signs. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Okay, so you've got this one coming off here, which goes all the way down here and joins here. So what is the point of that? And then this one up here is helping people come down that road when they can get through here anyway. So we don't need these. This is, I see this a lot. This is where people start getting traffic problems and then they don't know what to do about it. Sorry, you're going to end up in the drink. So they add more and more and more roads. But that little road there, as you can see, is causing problems here with people coming in uh, off of this road. Um, what I'm going to do is just pick that there. Thank you kindly. Oh, she so have got that as a one-way road. So they can only go in. Well, let's make it one way all the way. There we go. Just to keep that moving. And once these cars are gone. There we go. Look. So we get dedicated lanes now at the end. And also that is not enough lanes on these roundabouts. So you've got three lanes coming down each way on this big road here. And only. I'm pretty sure it's only two lanes on here. Yeah. You always want equal to or more lanes on your roundabout. Does this need to be such a big road? I would say no. So we can solve this two ways. We can downgrade this road to this one. And it would still work. Let's get the bridges back in here. There we go. And then go normal over there. No, this one. Let's turn off that. There we go. That's fine. Yeah, I think that was like that before. <laughs> and then what we can do is upgrade these to three lanes which is in this menu here there we go darn it pause the game i twitched and accidentally did that one instead let's put that back there we go so now we've got three lanes on there so let's just double make sure that is all set up that's fine so that should work a heck of a lot better and i think all of these need to be three oh now we need to go hang on let's just keep it paused we're going to change all of these to this road which is plenty enough in this sort of circumstance there we go there we go all the way down here all the way to that other roundabout up there and then each of the roundabouts can be changed to <laughs> if i don't slip come on let me get this one here there we go three lane roundabouts There we go. And then also these roads coming up here do not need to be six lane roads or three, you know, three lanes in each direction. So I'm going to downgrade those. I mean, you can use the one with the trees, use the one with the, the median if you want to. But I mean, it's just far too many. I can see why perhaps you've done it. Well, these are all one way roads. So, yeah. I just don't want that coming into these roundabouts. It's too much. I'll leave that one going that way. Uh, I don't care about all of those for now. All we want to do is get this going. And as we can see, it's getting there. It's moving. 
There we go. It's going to take a while. So that is all. Keep going. Let's just keep it moving. Keep going. Keep going. And they're all driving over the top of each other. Even though we've got despawning turned on. They're all getting confused. So it might take a while because all of this. Now, this is something else we can do. Is in the middle of these roundabouts. They can pick their lane right there so when that car comes off he can go up here or he can come down there then you don't want them lane switching in the middle and these roundabouts are so close to each other that we're happy to have them just pick their pick their lane uh, that one there and that one there we're happy to have them pick their lane when they're on the roundabout <laughs> my goodness look at this this is nuts overkill on roads and that's like a one-way road as well let's just make that a normal road and this one, and this one, and this one. That's going all the way through. Control left click, control left click, control left click. There we go. And then, ever so slowly, it's going to help these get out. The other thing you've got is, yeah, you've put a nice crossing over the top, which is great. People crossing is going to slow things down, but that's not like your biggest problem at the moment. It's just traffic. <laughs> traffic, traffic everywhere. And it's so busy in this area. Because what have we got here? Let's just have a look. So lots of high density stuff. And industry. Right. So these guys are trying to get over there to work. These are trying to bring the stuff in for the, the shops. And it just sort of continues on and continues on. And becomes an issue. So oh, look, we've got a bit of winky wonky lane changing over here. They haven't got the program. That there's not as many lanes there as there was before. Get rid of the program. Come on now. Don't drive down the median. Oh, and this one here. Ah, oh, look at this roundabout. So very nice. Building right in the middle of a roundabout. Don't do that. That is not what you want to do. That just slows everything down. Control cliff. Cliff, cliff, cliff. Control shift left click. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> so now you've got dedicated lanes coming off. We've got giveaway signs. Houses are all going to disappear. Let us just upgrade this road over there. This one. And let's see if we can make that a bit more rounded. Uh, control left click there. Yeah, there we go. Move it mods. Yeah, I think that's okay. And now if we look at this. I mean, I would even say let's remove this here. Look, that is not a good place to have that. It's just causing issues control left click control left click all dedicated lanes and then just go and then drive do your thing okay so what's the issue now these ones up here are turning up there and we don't have okay so we have a bit of a winky wonky thing going on here that's fine i'm going to do this so everybody goes the way they can go so you go there you go there and you go there and they can still get to where they need to they can just go the long way around and it just keeps this bit moving which keeps that bit moving look and if that's moving this can move and everything can move we've got bus stops in the middle of this roundabout are you serious let's get the bus stop stops moved that is really bad okay um let's move that one do you know what they're only coming down here to get those houses i'm just gonna get rid of them What's that one there? Can you go as well? It's not letting me pick it. Pick it. Go. Okay. Whatever. You can stay. Okay. So now these are moving. And once this dies down, these can all go. Let's just do dedicated, dedicated lanes down here. I really want to get rid of that bus stop, but it won't let me. Hmm. It's like it's hidden in the trees or something. I don't know. Okay, so the traffic up here actually got right down to here somewhere, which was great before it started backing up elsewhere. What I want to do is say no lane switch in there or there. I want them to pick their node over here, uh, pick their lane on that node. Um, but then, yeah, it started to back up along here. 
which is causing issues. I'm just watching. They're all trying to come up here. Why is that? Then they're coming up here. Let's just use the in-game tool to see what they're doing. Pick that road. Okay. So some are coming up here. Some are going straight on. So this is sort of becoming a semi sort of main road through here. And you've just not got enough lanes. And then these guys are looping back round and they can't get out. So that's what's happening there. But it's actually still moving. Look, that's moving again. So it's getting there. But as you can see, it's going to take a while. Because this one here, they're still thinking there's another lane in the middle there. <laughs> when there isn't. Let's just get rid of that. And see if that stops. No, no. I don't want you doing... What the... What is going on? I just noticed what is happening with this road here. Okay, let's just try upgrading this again. Because something has gone awry. Oh, we've got that turned on. Let's do that again. That was weird. That was very weird. And then let's just do that. There we go. I think there's a broken node somewhere, you know. Because now, look, these cars are disappearing. Look. Are they, are they ever going to get through? There's something weird going on. If I remove that, I think they'll come through again. Yeah, there's something weird going on here. Let me just upgrade these again. So I put them back to normal. Uh, we'll leave that one because we know that's okay. There we go. Look, 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 look. It's fine. I don't know quite what happened there, but it's all okay now. So we'll make sure they can keep going through. No one's going to turn around winky wonky style. Good. Okay. We'll come back to that because it's getting there. What's the traffic at? 52. Definitely getting better. How's the highway looking? Looking at the top one. Not as bad as before. Look, it is all moving and merging. So this bit coming this way. Let's have a look at this. So what's happening here, we can see. Look. They're all coming off here to join that. Well, that ain't going to happen anymore. That's going to go because you want these two to merge in properly and not have any problems. So now we can do that. If they want to come off, they can come up this little used lane here. Thank you kindly. And we're going to split this off. Like, um, I'm going to split it off down here. Like this. And that can join there instead. Um, and I want that to be one way through there so i'm going to use the touch it mod to touch that which unlocks it so then i can upgrade that to be one way going that way and then they can go back on the highway again or they can go up here i'm not quite sure what is going on with that one if i do that then you've got two lanes yeah i think that'll be okay so let's do that or oh, let's put two lanes on here so it's going to have one lane for coming off, but then it immediately splits into two. And then we're going to say in the middle here, don't change lanes. Then you've got left and right. And you're going to go right if you want to come along to here. So that's going to mean this is all going to keep moving. And then anybody that wants the cargo harbour is now coming down here. Um, let's just change that. That's what I want. So those two straight on. That one is coming off for those two. So I'm sort of forcing that. But then I don't want them to change lanes before that, say, there. Hang on, let's pause a sec. Let's remove all of these. I don't want... You've done this because of the traffic. You've seen all that traffic going to the cargo hub and you've thought, I'll stop them changing lanes forever. Never do that. But I do use the don't change lanes thing just before... Oh, my goodness. Just before a junction or just after like this. If it was too much, I'd have the merge in, don't change lanes, and then back to normal. Or this end, like I was going to do, is we've got the merge in, which we don't need in there because we've got the dedicated lanes, but I'll do it anyway. So that, uh, Oh, no, it's still not right, is it? <laughs> That's not what I wanted. No, don't do that. Let's leave it like it was. I want straight on, straight on, and one off. There we go. And then just the node before that will say no lane change. And then they're gonna they're gonna get in each other's way on this node for a while until all the traffic goes down. And then I'm hoping that this can get rid of that traffic quick enough. Oh, this is saying no lane uh, road connection because I put in that road there. Um let's go for this one instead. 
There we go. And we'll do control left click there. So they've got going up or out there. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain. This is going to back up because this just can't deal with it quick enough. But where are they all coming from? Let's have a look. We pick this. Let's have that turned off. Roots. Let's pick this. So we can see where all the trucks are coming from. So they're coming from all the way down here. They're coming from in here. And they're coming from all the way up over here. Now, what's interesting is, is there's water access everywhere, all along here. What we could have is this one here that people over here would use. Oh, look at that. Nice little university. Very nice. Um, and we could even have another one down here somewhere that other people could use. And then we could have a third one. Or even you've got your ore production over here. Have one over here as well. You know, spread it out everywhere. So, in fact, let's do that right now. There we go. So, now we've got one, two, three, and four dotted around the place. As you expand over here, this will get used more. So hopefully these will go to the nearer one rather than all the way over here. Because it does normally work by distance. Uh, we don't want these guys stopping here. So what have we got? No traffic lights. Just keep on going. Don't stop. And we're also going to give you some extra lanes there. Let's use this one. Upgrade. So that should help a little bit. There we go. They can go left or right now. A little bit quicker. Excellent. That stops them backing up here. Uh, I don't want you stopping there either. Why are you doing that? Just keep going. There we go. Excellent. So soon, hopefully, this won't back up half as much as it was before. What are we at? 60%. So <laughs> it's so good, my voice broke. So it's a lot better than it was. This isn't as half as bad as it was. Oh, look at this down here. Look. This is all cleared up. This is all cleared up. All these little roundabouts have all cleared up and they're just moving. Is that a rock in the middle of the road? How dare you. This is going, this is going, this is going. This is still a bit of an issue. Why is this one an issue, not the others? We've got the no lane changing there. I think it's all of this is choosing this road here, perhaps, to come through. Or is it all of this? Oh, actually, it's all of these down here. Let's just get rid of that tree. There we go. Yeah, these are all coming up here. Okay, let's just do a little bit of on-the-spot fixing. No lane changing in the middle of these roads. Because once they get up the top there, there's plenty. Uh, do you know what, actually? I am going to downgrade these. Let's downgrade these to these. There we go. That's better. And then hopefully it will just go a little bit quicker. What we need to do is just keep these moving here. I'm just wondering, just as a little cheat, we're going to say keep going. Because there's not that many coming round and it will just go that bit faster. And I'm interested to see where they're all going. Let's just pick, turn that off, pick this road here. So most of them are going up and going straight on. We do have some going round. Now most of them are just going straight on or up there. So it might just be a case of letting that one run and seeing how it goes. Because there's so much industry stuff up here. I mean, do you have a train line anywhere? Oh, wow. Look at this one down here. That's the other one we did. Not quite as good yet. Not quite as good. There we go. Look, these are being used now, which is nice. There we go. So this traffic here is traffic that isn't now down over there. What about this one? Uh, yeah, somebody must be using it because you've got a tanker truck. What about this one? This one's getting used as well. You know, when you've got it right by your city here, just put some offices by it. Look, you've got industry need. Fill it up with offices, roundabouts. So that'll block the sound. Uh, get rid of that house, get rid of that. Maybe that one there as well. And that'll block the sound that's going to go through and bother some other people. So that'll be good. And this one, look at that already. Instead of it queuing up the highway, it's now there. So this is all, even though it's a little bit winky wonky, it's moving, which is what we want to see. This is all moving. What's happening here? 
Okay, so this is going up and getting stuck up here. We looked at this one, didn't we? Let's just see if we got this one set up correctly. Uh, control shift left click. Yeah, it's just we haven't got enough lanes on here. If we look, it's so we've got three lanes coming in, three lanes, and it's down to two lanes. So we at least need three lanes on that. I did not many times you need to go above that, and you've got buildings on the highway on the roundabout, I should say. So they're gonna go. It is only offices, they're not as bad. But it's only got to take one or two little people stopping here and it clogs it all up, doesn't it? Um, and then just make sure we've got dedicated turning lanes. There we go. And give way, give way. Yeah, that's better. So this... What are you doing? What are you... No, no. Look, we've even got the thing saying don't do the thing. And you're doing the thing. Deleted. You're breaking the rules. That is not allowed. Don't break the rules. Right, let's just watch the... There's people in the middle of the roundabout. Go away. Let's just watch this for a second so we can see it all queuing up down the highway. Let's just see if... Oh, do you know what? Look, that would help as well. Look. Two lanes, one use. Oof. Come on now. Let's upgrade that to two. So now we've got a dedicated turning lane all the way down here. No lane changing in the middle, and we just want one lane going off, and the other two going on. And you know what? We might have already fixed it. Now, look. Most of those are coming down there and blocking it all up. Still getting a bit of hawky balky lane switching along here, but that will happen from time to time. I think it's time to let the city just run a bit. What are we at? 57% and see what happens after taking a quick glance at your so you haven't got an inordinate number of vehicles which is good uh, that's fine you've got no trains okay all right yep let's let it run for a bit and see what we get to Okay, so what are we up to? We are up to 61%. Um, this bit here is becoming a bit of a bottleneck. And I'll tell you why. It's all of this industry stuff here. It's all trying to come down here, obviously, to go to the new hub or to go into highway, go to other parts of the city. You haven't used any sort of railway lines that I can see anywhere. And you've got this up here. You've got the cargo airport hub, which has got the built-in uh, railway line. So if we could run that over to here and put one of the hubs in uh the i can never remember all the different names this one here just the cargo train terminal i think we can encourage most of this to go on that so let us grab train tracks construct a train station yep you obviously do not use a train station at all there we go <laughs> we can now so let's see where we could run this. Let's turn all of these back on. So, and we'll turn that back on. So if that came... Whoop, that was my fault. Move before it was built. If that came through here... I want it sort of along here. This would be the perfect spot. Like this little section here. But you've got your factories here. And I'm just wondering whether we could have a bit of a jiggery pokery over here and move some stuff around. So let's see what we can do. There we go. That's cleared up that space for us. I mean, we can see we've got far too much zoned industry farming products because it's just all been stored in here. Freight trucks just can't get it out quick enough because they're sending out those 20 trucks and then they're sitting in the traffic here. So it's just never going anywhere. And then these will send out their own trucks, which will then get caught in this. It's just a continual loop of bleh. That's what it is. You know, that, that is the technical name for it. A continuing loop of bleh. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this two-lane road. Uh, we're going to come out here. We're going to come in here. We're going to join those two up. Oh, that's like a little pond. A little pond in the middle. And then we're going to add that to here. 
which is going to build up that land a bit. We could do a teeny tiny little bit of land finagle in just to smooth that out smoothly smooth there we go and then we can add in our train line which has got to now get to up there oh that's easy enough let's do that okay there we go so we've now got this option for them to come in here let's do control left click going in Control left click over there. They can go in each direction. So this is definitely going to get a lot busier. But that, I think, will be absolutely perfect. You know, one little thing I'm going to change is I'm going to move that as far up the end, say, to there. And then I'll connect these two up. There we go. Just to give a nice longer queuing space. So I wonder how long it's going to take before this gets used. So we can see it definitely got a lot better down here for sure. Look, all of this is now moving. We're still getting a bit of traffic here. So what I've done is I've just painted in a district through here, just covering those roads. And Coleridge District is going to have the policy of heavy traffic ban. So no heavy transport vehicles allowed, does not affect highways. And I think that is going to be the final nail in the coffin of all these farm farming industry people coming down this road they will have to find alternate routes and they will definitely make more use of our cargo train terminal might be worth keeping in mind as well you are exporting a heck of a lot of agricultural products you have far more agriculture than you need you're not using it i mean it's a good way to make money the city is making a lot of money but yeah, might, maybe just rethink what you've got and how you use those products. Try and upgrade the products, the basic agricultural products, using some more factories into other items. That is always a good idea. And the final thing I'm doing is just making this roundabout a little bit bigger. Uh, oh, I thought I could do that one in one go. Okay, we'll do it one node at a time. So yeah, just grabbing each of these nodes and moving them out. A couple of clicks. And I think that will be the final nail in the coffin of the traffic that we've got in this area. Look at that. That is so much better. Probably going to see a few buildings have to respawn again. But that is fine by me. What are we up to? 67%. We're getting there. We're getting there. Things are getting better and better. Let us check the traffic. 79%. As soon as we hit 80%, that is it. I'm drawing a line <laughs> under this city because there's so much that needed to be done. But let me just see if we can get that last one or two percent. And there we go. Flipping heck. 81 percent. Oh, 79. I'm turning it off. That's going to come back to 81, I'm sure. This was the worst roundabout. This one that we saw earlier. And to try and help it, I've added these sort of offshoot little roads here rather than it banging into the roundabout at a 90 degree angle like this one down the bottom right here. So I've done it here, done it there, and that has helped a huge amount. I'll probably do it over here as well if needed. But as you saw, that is it. We hit 80%, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and check out my latest new T-Land video on the screen as well. Have a fantastic day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.